All right, so I'll just kill that back workout. That burnout was beautiful. Um, if you've watched my videos, sometimes I really stress, you know, really good form, full range of motion. Sometimes I get sloppy like I did with that burnout. Um, I don't recommend doing that unless you're pretty familiar with how your body handles that stuff. Like you don't want to like not ever do T-ball rows and just do like a 50 set drop set, strip set burnout with bad form because you're liable, liable to injure yourself. But me, like I know, I've done that before several times, I know how my body responds to it, I know if I'm warmed up enough to do that, so I'll get sloppy with it just so that I can stimulate those muscle fibers and uh, mix it up a bit. And it's just, it's just fun, like I do that more because it's just fun. Not necessarily the best thing to do, but it's fun, so I do it. Um, plus I'm really competitive, so I gotta be competitive. Anywho, I'm about to go home, finish editing a podcast, it's gonna go live in just a little bit, and it's all about gene blueprint and how to use genetic testing to kind of optimize your performance training and nutrition. So, yeah, buddy. What's up, everybody? Sitting outside of Starbucks, freezing my butt off right now, but it's too noisy in there. I want to get a good quality clip, so here I am. Quick question for you. Um, I'm thinking after this three-month experiment is over to kind of change up my, my videos for YouTube, uh, change up the, the style and the format I'm using. So currently, I'm doing about, I'm pretty much doing like a daily vlog lifestyle type uh, video um, which I get a lot of positive feedback and I like doing them but they I want to do kind of more like educational instructional tutorial type videos where like I pick a topic hammer out the details behind perfecting that that thing or teaching about that thing and then kind of making that a video I'll still do like a like a, you know I don't know like a, a, a vlog once or twice a week, or just depending on how I'm feeling, but um, make the YouTube kind of more like an educational based video with some lifestyle type vlogs sprinkled in. Still plan on popping out like a video pretty much every day, but I might do more um, just a varied type of content. One of the reasons for this is because I want to get more active on my Instagram stories specifically. But with like the, the vlogs that I've been doing lately and the stories on Instagram, it's like the same kind of concept. I would feel weird because it's like, do I do a story? Do I do a vlog? I need to kind of have more division between those two. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. I'd love to get your feedback on that. Um, I think it'd be more informative and more beneficial for you from like a learning perspective if I set up my YouTube more like as an edu educational platform. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking on there. I'm gonna ask the same question on my Instagram stories to see what kind of feedback I get. Uh, but yeah, let me know. And I'll still keep up the vlogs on YouTube, just not like a daily vlog, lifestyle vlog. It'll be like a daily video with like a weekly or a couple times a week uh, lifestyle vlog. So yeah, let me know on that one and uh, we'll talk soon. All right, we just uh, finished up at Starbucks getting some work done. We're headed to a camera shop now to get some gels for my lighting. I'm trying to improve my lighting. Um, Crystal was in there and she just published her latest YouTube video all about back and bicep workout, right? Wrong. Biceps and triceps. Biceps and triceps <laughs> workout. All right, so I haven't watched it yet, but go check out Crystal's YouTube. It's, and, it's uh, like a minute and a half long. So it's like minute and a half quick. long. Everybody's got a minute and a half. Support Crystal. She's the she's about to say she's the man, but she's the woman. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna get some camera gear now. So catch y'all later. Here at Whole Foods to get some dog food for Jack and uh, stuff for the Keto Savage Kitchen. We're getting some fudge recipe ingredients, which we're gonna talk about in the video. So just have to hang loose for that. But I might get Luke some toys. You think you think he would not make, not break? This? You think, actually, this stuff, you add, you put stuff in here? You put stuff in here, I think, right? So usually it's like calm. Oh, yeah, yeah probably it's peanut like, butter. So we're thinking about getting this, putting peanut butter in there or something like that, and seeing if that keeps him busy, so we will see. These little toys that you put peanut butter in are 20 one forty nine. Crystal's shoes aren't even that much. I think I'm gonna let them stick with those. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go to Walmart to get some more supplies. I don't ever go to Walmart. I don't wanna talk bad about Walmart. 
But there are some weird people that go to Walmart, especially in Arkansas. This is where the weird people hang out on Friday nights, so we'll see what we see. They do have cool things in Walmart though. They made a a model of crystal. This is crystal. And uh, they did a really good job. It's like scaled and everything. Alright y'all, so I'm trying to like improve the quality of my videos here and I'm I'm learning as I go here. I, I love photography and I love you know videography. I just I'm just loving I'm loving all this stuff. It's very cool. But uh, so I've got this um, bedroom in my house here that I've basically converted into my home office slash studio. This is what it looks like currently. I've hated the lighting from day one. I've got like just a typical ceiling fan. It's got like lights that are not really good. It's casting a lot of shadows. It just makes me look washed out. I don't like it at all. So I've been, I went to the store to get some gels, to get some lights, and to get some, um, uh, what else did I get? Some clamps to hold the gels on. Just basic setup stuff. And the lights I got were like, they're, they're work lights from Lowe's. So they're not even like, you know, high end. This is DIY for sure. Um, so let's check out and see if this is any better. This is what it currently looks like. And uh, let's see what it looks like with the upgrade. Boom, this is the new studio setup. I've got a uh, shop light in the corner reflecting off whiteboards with a gel, blue gel on it. I've got a, that's my key light. I've got a fill light here with another gel sitting on a tripod, that, a tripod that's also a shop light. I got a little lamp behind me that kind of acts as a backlight or hair light, whatever you want to call it. But this is kind of the new lighting setup. Hopefully it's better and um, kind of, I don't know, brings more detail than what I had previously set up. In fact, let me just show you real quick my studio, AKA spare bedroom, AKA office, AKA Keto Savage headquarters. Here we go. All right, so this is uh, my desk with my iMac computer. Got my whiteboard there, got a black, felt cloth for the backdrop there, that's that lamp um, printer, and then I've got kind of like a table thing here. This is actually a big wooden box with a deer head that I killed and mounted in it. Um, tripod with some notes, a little fill light there, and then my shop light reflecting off my whiteboards with some notes. Uh, this is a blanket used to cover up the air vents because they get super loud when I'm recording especially on podcasts but uh, but yeah so that's the Keto Savage headquarters uh, home office here um, DIY to the max do what you gotta do make it work but you know it's a work in progress and it's growing day by day and I love it so proud to start off humble Right now, I'm gonna go edit this this video, film the Keto Savage Kitchen episode video. We're making fudge, and uh, I'll catch y'all tomorrow.